Hey everybody, I'm Randy with Barbecue Guys, and today we'll be doing an expert overview on this premium class offset smoker, the Luling by Texas Original Pits. The one we have here today is the loaded package. Let's get to it. Now let's talk quality. The lid and the barrel measured at 6.4 millimeters. That's a quarter inch thick metal. Now the deflector plate measured in just a tad under that at five millimeters, which is real close to that quarter inch mark. Still good thick metal. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna heat up evenly and it's gonna hold that heat, which is nice. The cooking grates measure in at around four millimeters thick, which is solid for a smoker. Now, when it comes to the chimney, same thing. That is a quarter inch thick metal, and the hinges that are holding this beefy lid are 13 millimeters thick. That's, that's quality there. Also, what we take into consideration is the construction of this thing. These are hand welded in the USA, and you just can't beat that. So in terms of quality, this is a top-notch premium class smoker. So let's talk performance. First, we'll go over the interior cook space of the smoker. So with measuring the racks, the bottom rack came in at about 35 and a half inches wide by 19 inches deep. And the top rack is the same with 35 and a half inches wide by 14 inches deep. Now that's still tons of area to cook. You could probably feed a small army with that. Now you also have some direct flame cooking capabilities over on the smoking box. That grid measures 19 inches by 18 inches. You could easily fit five to six steaks on that at a time. So let's talk air sealage performance. I give that a better grade. Now, you do see some smoke kind of seeping out. You're really not losing much at all. The thick metal and the construction of this grill is gonna retain tons of heat. Now, when it comes to grading the casters, I give it a best. Texas Original Pits did not compromise when it comes to this. They gave you a nice, large wheel to be able to move it around. Now, when it comes to ash removal and collection, I gave this a better grade. Now, when you're done cooking, everything's settled down. You could just pull out that bottom grate and easily scrape out all that ash. Now, the issue I did find is that if for your longer smokes and if you need to refuel but remove some of the ash, you might have to lift up that grate uh, with a tool or something. Just be careful not to burn yourself. Then you can scrape it out. Now, when it comes to ease of adding charcoal or wood, it really doesn't get any easier. At the end of this, they have a massive door that you can just swing open and toss in more fuel. Also, if you're just smoking and not using the direct flame grate, you can just totally open that lid and you've got huge access right over the top. So overall, I give that a best rating. Now, when it comes to the distance between your heat and grate level on the direct side, you've got at least five inches, which is plenty of space to get a good sear and you don't have to worry about burning your food. Now, let's talk about the grill's baffle performance. While running our thermocouple test, out of all five thermocouples, the furthest thermocouple reading from the grill's average was only 17 degrees. This is phenomenal and I give it a best rating. It's really unheard of when it comes to a live fire grill. Now, when it comes to the vertical area of what you can fit in there, from grid level to the top of the grill is about nine inches. That's plenty of space to fit a whole turkey. You really have nothing to worry about when it comes to height. Let's talk features. So right off the bat, you'll notice this huge counterweight. Now, this is a heavy duty lid. So having this counterweight to help you a little bit more easier lift that lid uh, is a nice feature to have so you're not straining your arms too much. Another great feature you'll notice right here on the lid is you got two thermometers. They're nice and big so you can see it. Having those two combined is really nice to give you a good idea of the ambient temperature that's going on in the grill. Under their cooking grids, you'll notice their heavy duty heat deflector plate. It is indeed louvered, which is gonna really help for good even heat distribution. You'll see they have these chrome stay cool spring handles. Really nice to have because this whole grill is gonna heat up and you don't wanna be burning your hands. You'll also notice that they got these large handmade flanges. This is gonna help you get a good seal in the grill so you're not losing too much smoke or too much heat. This is the Luling Firebox. This is where you're gonna build your fire under these cooking grids uh, so that you can get your heat and smoke in the cooking chamber where you're gonna be smoking meats. But another cool feature is they offer this cooking grid here so that you can have your fire and then do direct grilling. So if you wanna do steaks, 
burgers, you have that ability to do that. So this cool feature is their pot warmer. You'll see here, you can set a pot on it, uh, whether you uh, want to keep some sauce warm or heat up some beans or something like that while you're smoking. The Luling also has dual airflow dampers. Uh, this is gonna help you really fine tune that temperature, get it exactly where you want it. And this is gonna help with efficiency and fuel usage as well. It's also worth noting, there's a steel port here on the side of the barrel. This is so that you can feed your remote thermometers through here and you don't have to worry about crimping your wires, possibly damaging your remote thermometer in the heavy lid here. So it's nice to have that port. And hey, while you're grilling or smoking, you're gonna need somewhere to set your drink or tray of food. They got these nice heavy duty shelves that'll hold a whole tray of burgers plus. And to help with ash accumulation, there's this tool. You'll see that it's kind of rounded to fit nicely at the bottom of the barrel. So you can just pull that ash on out. There is this grease bucket to catch all those drippings coming out of the barrel. You're gonna hook it right there it's gonna catch all that grease. Now for a quick recap. As far as quality is concerned, we're talking hand welded construction, thick steel gauge for longevity and good heat retention, the high temperature paint to help protect it from the elements, solid grill grates and thick heavy hinges. For a premium smoker, this is solid from a quality perspective. Now for performance. This thing has tons of interior cooking space for hosting big parties, excellent air seal and heat retention. It's super easy to add charcoal or wood and remove the ash. This thing is off the charts when it comes to evenness, especially for a live fire smoker. The performance of this grill really earns its place in the premium class. Now for features. Having the capability of direct heat charcoal grilling on your smoker really just adds to the versatility of this grill. Also, having dual temperature gauges really helps you know where you're at during the cook temperature wise. In addition to that, the wheels and the counterweight really help with mobility and ease of use. And the additional built-in pot warmer makes this smoker even more versatile. Looking at this from a features perspective, Texas Original Pits really wasn't kidding around when they say the loaded package. That's it for our expert overview on this premium class offset smoker. Thanks for watching.